Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm one of the operators of PreschoolLearningOnline.com and ActivitySchoolBus.com. I just want to talk today about the importance of real life pictures in the classroom. There's lots of really nice cartoony sets that you can get at um, various stores around town, um, but it is really important for children to see real life pictures because it really helps them relate to things that they see when they're at home, when they're at school, um, wherever they are throughout the day. So what I do have here is um, a set of food model cards that I've um, I actually got them when I was in college. A certain company came in to talk to us and they gave us all of them. So I've laminated them and they've actually been a really great asset to me um, in my classrooms for the past nine years. Now um, this one is steak, there's chicken, um, strawberries, a hard boiled egg cut in half but I mean on the back it just says egg. We don't want to get too complicated. Then there's things like cupcakes, a muffin, hot dogs, peanut butter, different things like that. Now, if you can't get your hands on a set of cards like this, it's not a big deal. Um, what I have here to show you is how simple it is to make cards like this or an even easier way to put them in your classroom. Now, what you can do is just on your table, put a plain sheet, usually a white or cream color is best. Um, I mean, this, they did it with black, but when you're using your own camera, a white back, background would be better. Um, so something as simple as an orange, a banana, I have some chocolates, some tomatoes. So what I would do is one by one, just set one there, take a picture of it, do that with each of them. Do it with any foods. The project may not take you one day, it might take you a month to do. If you wake up in the morning and you have toast, take a picture of your toast. If you have cereal, take a picture of your cereal. If you're barbecuing one night and you've done chicken breast or you've done steak, just take a quick picture of it, even if it's in the plate, but just make sure it's only one food. So if you have the steak before you add potatoes and salad or whatever, just take a picture of your steak on the plate. Now once you've had once you have a number of pictures on your camera, go get them developed. It doesn't have to be, you know, special developing, do it as cheap as you can. And you can either laminate the pictures and um, have them in the classroom, or another thing you can do is put them in a picture album and put it in the library. And you can call it the food, um, like the food book. And it's really great because it helps children in the library. They can look at a book, they know what the pictures are. It's not always stories with writing that they can't read and different things like that. Now feel free to do it with any objects in the house. You can do, have your food book in the library, you can have household items where you can have like a teapot, a coffee maker, um, the couch, you know, a chair, just something like that. Just taking different pictures around the house, kids really relate to it. They're like, oh, I have a couch too, but mine is a different color. Oh, my mom has a coffee maker, she uses it. It's really good for the kids to see stuff like that. And like I said, they can relate to it, get some talking, get some socializing and different things like that. So there's just an idea I thought I'd throw out at you. Um, I know it's going to be great in your classroom, it's been great in mine. Um, you know, ideas like that can be simple, can be fun. Um, we don't have to think too elaborately because, uh, you know, children are able to um, use things like this and their whole world lights up. So um, feel free to ask any questions, email me at preschoollearningonline at yahoo.ca and um, I'll be there for your questions. Thanks.